everybody. So this isn't a teaching tip, but it is certainly a time saver. If you are like me, when you make presentations, you tend to find yourself sticking to the same kind of theme. And by that, I mean the color of your background, the size of your text, whether you use bold or not, etc. And um, while there are some themes that you can use already built into Google Slides, I like to keep it pretty simple myself. So I find myself using the regular theme, but then I have to make tweaks as I go. And that typically comes in when I add a new slide. It has the title here, but I always like to give myself some more room. So I end up moving this, the title over and I like to make it a little bit bigger and I like it to be bold. And I often, so then I find myself doing this every time I add a new slide. And that is a little bit of a time waster. So what I have for you today is why we use the basis of the master slides. Um, and we're gonna have more on that, but you're going to go to view master. And there's two things to know about this. You have the master view. This changes all of the slides in a presentation. And then you have various layouts. So if you want um, to put in, you know, a big quote on the side and then some text, or you already want it formatted for a big percent sign, whatever the case may be. The most common are, you know, just a title or the title and a text box. Um, so what you're going to do on this master slide is you are going to adjust the title to the way that you want it, that you would most often use it. So I'm going ahead and again, changing the title and I'm going to move the text box over so that it is aligned up where I would want it when I start typing. And I am going to change the background color to the background that I often use and I'm going to click done. And then this will automatically, when you click back here, change how the titles look on your slides. And now when you add a new slide, it's already formatted the way you want it. So that is the basics of master view. And if you're making a lot of presentations, it is definitely a time saver. The next video I'm going to do is going to go into detail about how to use the master view to help you make interactive presentations for your students.